We're here at Alan's Barbers today in Paisley. This isn't just any barber shop, this is a barber shop with a twist. So PLZ Soccer came down to the shop to pay him a visit. Alan, you've got loads of uh, St Mirren memorabilia here in the shop. Tell us a bit about that. So when I first started, uh, my business was about 35 years ago. Um, I was in premises across the road. And I moved in here about eight years ago. And on the back of getting a friend football programme, um, we added to the rest of the stuff and got shirts and boots and balls as well, just to, to liven the place up a wee bit. And how did you get your hands on most of it? A lot of the stuff I collected myself. Um, Again, shirts were through um, sponsoring players. Um, a couple of shirts were donated to be players as well, along with some of the balls and things like that. So I've always had a keen interest in collecting stuff for St Mern. And when you came over here eight years ago, was it always a plan to have the stuff on the walls? Uh, initially, it was just a, a, an idea um, from a football programme, and it just grew arms and legs. Um, so just I just went through all my collection and picked out a lot of programmes that meant things to me and um, we just went ahead and, and done it and again we'll get paintings as well now and uh, I'm pretty pleased with it all. You've been a St Mirren fan your whole life, tell us a bit about some of the memories that you have. Yeah I think the, the first kind of memories I have are going to St Mirren, um, started off with my grandparents they turned me down um, in the mid 70s and then from winning the Anglo-Scottish Cup in uh, 1980 I think it was to to the, the Scottish Cup final 87, League Cup final in 2013. Um, there's been a lot of great memories in there, but the last couple of years as well, we won in the league um, and sponsoring some players' shirts in. Uh, it was a great opportunity to get involved um, with the players at the time and I had great memories from then. Tell us about some of the players that you've dealt with along that time as well then. Through the years, cutting their hair, um, I was fortunate enough to, to know Paul, Paul Lambert, who after St Mern went on to win the Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> um, Peter Weir as well, uh, he was a, a player that came in. Again recently, um, Stelios and Adam Eckersley, um, they've been customers. Um, so it's, I've always enjoyed meeting players and people from the club and it's, it's always good to talk to them and, and get their take on football as well. Mm -hmm. This, this is my scrapbook. I started as a, a young boy. Okay. Um, he was my hero, Frank McGarvey. Frank McGarvey, so he, yeah. he was first in the book. Uh, front page. And we go on to, obviously, players of that, that day. Uh -huh. But this is a, it was signed by the 87 Cup final yeah. squad. Um, again, going through the years, different players have signed it at different times. Mm -hmm. um, right through the... Peter was good. Peter came in and signed every picture he self in the book. Is that right? Aye. Good stuff. And there's a Peter Weir picture, an autograph yeah. on it. Yeah. This season, there's six, seven games to go. How do you feel it's been going so far this season? Absolutely amazing. Um, I think if you asked this at Mern supporter, if you want to be in this position at the start, would have bit your hand off. So. Mm. It's two games to the split. I think we don't even have to kick a ball if Harps beat Hibs on Saturday. We're in the top six, so that would be an achievement in itself, never having reached the split. So the manager's doing really well at the minute. Is there a fear that he might be a target for some other teams? I think for a club like St Mern, you're always wary of losing your managers, you know, mm -hmm. because if there is success there, we've seen it in the past, Jack Ross away to Sunderland on the back of you know, some great success. So if Steve Robertson gets us into Europe, um, who knows, but I think I, I think he's a man who would like to see things through and I think if he can get us through into Europe he'll still be here next season. Mm. Two more games to go before the split, how confident are you that you can make top six and potentially European football as well? Personally, um, it's one of a habit of doing it the hard way. Um, but I feel with the games that are round about it as well that we can do it ourselves, mm -hmm. but clubs can also help us. Um, as I said, if, 
if Hearts beat Hibs on Saturday, we don't need to kick a ball, we're in the top six, so mm. that would be ideal. Um, I think we need one point, maybe, out the two games, Rangers away and Kilmarnock at home. Um, if we don't get anything on Saturday, I'm confident we'll get something at St Mern Park against Kilmarnock. To all the St Mirren fans out there, come down to Alan's Barbers in Paisley today. You can have a look at his collection and all the memorabilia of St Mirren and you might as well get a haircut as well. <laughs>